Hello everybody, welcome back to King's Field. This is gonna be episode 1, version 2.0. Uh, I got my game running a lot smoother and figured since episode 1 got the sound all messed up, I'd do this again. So yeah, we're gonna begin by collecting items first off. So we go in the cave, the second barrel has a mask. We're gonna take that and equip it right away. Yeah, as you can notice, game is running a lot, a little bit quicker than normal. I don't mind, it works. Monsters move a little bit quicker, attack a little bit quicker, but it's just get it. Just gotta get used to it. It's a trade-off I gotta do for the little performance boost. <laughs> okay, and we get our first fire crystal. I use that right away. Good, good. Equip this magic. And we'll make it down this tower. Now this next part, I might die and have to do this all over again, which will suck really bad. I might make it, so. Gotta make it through this bridge, make it through all the flying fish, run through the krakens, pick up the armor, equip it, then tr try to get away because these guys do a lot more damage than the guys at the beginning and that's what happens so this time since I showed all of that stuff we're gonna actually go straight for the armor I'm not gonna use um, safe states this time around I I know the game a little bit better at this point. So I don't think I need safe states. Good. Now that we get past this point, it's a lot easier. Once we get the breastplate on, things start doing a lot less damage. Which is good. Good good good. So we got our fire crystal again. Use it. I'm not gonna equip it yet. I'm gonna wait to equip it. And we'll go down again. I don't know if there were two herbs down here. Yeah. Two herbs. And we're not gonna go that way. Just because I fear the flying fish. Okay, let's hope I don't die. Good. We will grab our mask. Another herb. And another. And we will clear this area with the fountain. See, the attacks are a lot quicker now. But the monster's movement is a lot quicker too. It works. It works just fine. So, I don't remember if I said it on the intro, this is Kingsfield 1, another game from from FromSoft Software, the same makers that did Dark Souls, Demon Souls, and Dark Souls 2. I'm doing this playthrough because, well, basically, game's coming out, uh, Dark Souls coming out in five days from now. And well, I wanted to get this game done before that came out because there's a lot of similarities between this and Dark Souls. Like, everything you see in this game and Dark Souls came from these games. There's a lot of references. This world is very similar to Dark Souls world. Like 
you're stranded on this world where everyone's basically dying off and you're off to fend by yourself and discover what the hell's going on uh, I'm gonna run by these guys I will clear that room first thing I wanted to do was save my game and there we go I will clear this area put our iron mask our fireball spell and we are going to try to get the knight's sword without dying and if we die we save the game so that's why I did that we're gonna basically just rush for it Oof. I thought the Kraken was gonna hit me. These things are doing a lot of damage. We'll grab the dagger. The, the short sword, I think it's called. And we got the knight sword here. And we gotta make it out. We did it. Okay, we're gonna... Equip our knight sword. And before anything, I don't want to die, so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna equip the Earth Herbs in our select button. Whatever happened to that first Kraken that was here? They all disappeared. Here's a crystal. We want to pick those up, all of them. They're handy, they're very, very useful items. Uh, is there anything this way? Nope. And I don't want to mess with the dragonflies, so... So, okay. You got this done. We are gonna... clear the way... to the save point now. Get some experience. Some drops. Hopefully not die. Okay, <clears throat> that wasn't good. I don't think I can do this. Yeah, we're gonna go heal. That's the good thing about having the healing fountain here. Don't gotta cheat, don't gotta do safe states. Only thing is that when you go off screen, everything respawns. Or despawns in some cases. There we go. Just wanna get rid of this thing. Come on, one more hit. Normally you don't wanna kill monsters the way I just did. You wanna circle around them. So there's a lot of secrets in this game. You just gotta tap the adds button when you're on the wall. Sometimes there's traps though, so you gotta be careful where you do it. So we found 50 coins there. Going to come in here. Save our game again. Now we're at level 2. And we're gonna pick up a very useful item here. The star... Stargate, it's called. Yeah, Stargate. We can't do anything with it yet until we find another item later on. But we have this one now. Okay. This is really dangerous putting myself in this situation. Could have easily died there getting poisoned by that flower flowers they're like fly trap thingers okay this will be some easy experience 
And I gotta replace those antidotes. I think these slimes will drop some antidotes. Rarely, but they will. Plus we need the gold. It's a couple hits. Well, four hits. No, five hits? Yeah, you can see I hit them once and then the second hit won't. They actually move. You can't see them because it's so slow. But they're actually moving. Leveled up. Nice. We're level 3 now. And you can see that from your level 3, 114 experience. Maximum HP, strength power, magic. Nothing dangerous. Nope. It's good just to find a good spot where they're not hitting you. There we go. An antidote. Antidote. Just about done. That crystal will heal us from any status effect. Really not worth using. So, this room we want to stay clear of because that snail. It will kill us really quickly. I'm gonna kill these one by one. Oh, that was close. Trying to not get overrun by them. There we go, one more. Getting the hang of this, the little speed boost. There we go. Just tapping by the walls, I'm not sure where all the secrets are. I'm just checking. There's really no point of trying to clear that room. That door won't open. Not yet. I'm gonna save quickly. We're not gonna die, but just... Gotta get in the habit of saving whenever possible. Whenever possible. There's the crack in there. Nope. Good thing is these guys don't respawn here, so you can come heal. And there's a little secret here. And a little... Really dangerous friend. That we want to be really careful of. There we go. And we get a leather shield. Another item we want to equip right away. Alright, the more items we find early on, the less we have to buy later. And we'll end off in this room, which has some of this, some of these krakens. I think they're called krakens. Which is weird because they have like, t well I guess they have more than two tentacles. I guess their feet are tentacles. In total they would have eight. Okay, and one slime. And one more. I actually want to make sure that I'm fully healed for this. So, we will go right back to the fountain. And right in here. Oh, there's another enemy. Wow. I didn't expect this. Okay, so we'll take these stairs first. I think we want to take these. Yeah. Yep. I didn't do this last time. I totally forgot. And this is where we get our first magic spell. 
We want to make sure we can kill this before that turns around. It's the biggest thing. If that thing starts firing, they should fire out of their mouth. And if they get you, they can kill you really quickly. There's our first crystal flask. I don't remember what kind of key those chests need. The King of Winds, King Harvine the Dirt, started to construct his castle here. He started constructing it. He didn't finish, apparently. So I actually want to use Wind Cutter more than Fireball. Yes, I like the spell more. It's more fun looking. <laughs> and I would show off the magic. Well, I'll show it off once. It's just a flying dagger. Okay, also when you get poisoned, you can stand on the green slimes and they will cure you. It's handy. You'll still take some damage from it. Right there. Take a couple hit points worth of damage. It's worth it. And... He will heal. Make another quick trip. To the save point. Take a little bit of damage. And we will save and I will end this episode here. Oh, so we gathered our beginner's items. Weapon, knight sword, magic wind cutter, shield, leather shield, iron mask, and a breastplate. Those are really good to for the like first twenty minutes of the game. So I will end this here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.